Hi viewers, today we will solve few sums related to the topic trigonometrical identities. Before solving the problems, let's take a look on the identities, the formulas. So sin theta, trigonometrical identities. So the first identity is sin theta. Sin theta is equal to p by h. What is p here? p is perpendicular and h is hypotenuse. So sin theta is equal to perpendicular by hypotenuse. Cos theta is cos theta is b by h tan theta is p by p p by b so here p is perpendicular h is hypotenuse b is base cosec theta cosec theta is the reciprocal of sin theta so the formula will be cosec theta is equals to h by p sec theta is h by b cot theta is b by p now let's learn the reciprocal relation sin theta sin theta is equals to 1 by cosec theta cos theta is equals to 1 by sec theta tan theta is equal to sin theta by cos theta cot theta is equal to cos theta by sin theta so these are the formulas here the identities are sin square uh, sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 sec square theta minus tan square theta is equal to 1 cosec square theta minus cot square theta is equal to 1 so these are the identities here if both the angles are same these theta is, are angles so if both the angles are same we get is equal to as 1 now based on these formulas let's learn the let's solve the problems here the first question here is 1 by tan a plus cot a is equals to cos a into sin a so here we have to prove prove lhs is equals to rhs so this is the lhs right we'll copy the lhs down first 1 by tan a plus cot cot a see we'll copy this one as it is 1 by tan a what's the formula here tan theta see theta is the angle here here it's theta but in the question it's a so tan a is equal to sin a by cos a so we'll write here in place of tan a we'll write sin a by cos a now cot cot a so the formula here is the formula of cot theta is equals to cos theta by sin theta. So we'll write here cos a by sin a. So this is the formula. We applied the formula here. Now we'll take the LCM here. One we'll copy as it is one here. Now the LCM of the denominators. We'll take the LCM of the denominators. LCM will be cos a cos a into sin a is the denominator now we'll do the cross multiplication here sin a into sin a gives you sin square a plus cos a into cos a gives you cos square a so we got the lcm here now to remove this one we'll do the reciprocal here so reciprocal means the denominator will go up and the numerator will come in the denominator so this is the denominator which will become the numerator cos a into sin a this is we are reciprocal we will we will reciprocal it now this will come in the in, in the denominator sin square a plus cos square a see we proved no cos a into sin a we had to prove this lhs is equal to rhs so cos a into sin a is equals to cos a into sin a therefore lhs is equals to rhs hence proved we had to prove it and we proved it so this is our answer so now this is the second question sec a minus 1 a sec a plus 1 a is equal to 1 minus cos a 1 plus cos a we have to prove this sum these are proving sums so this we have to prove it lhs is equal to rhs so let's copy the lhs first sec a minus 1 sec a plus 1 right now what's the reciprocal of sec a the reciprocal of sec a will be 1 by cos a. So the reciprocal of sec a is 1 by cos a 
minus 1 and in the denominator the reciprocal of sec a plus 1 will be 1 by cos a plus 1 see you don't have anything in the denominator we'll assume it as 1 here also you don't have anything in the denominator we'll assume it as 1 we will take the lcm here cos a and 1 so the lcm here will be cos a itself so cos a now we'll do the cross multiplication 1 into 1 is 1 itself 1 minus cos a into 1 is cos a 1 minus cos a divided by we'll take the lcm of this one cos a and 1 will be cos a, a itself I will do the cross multiplication here 1 into 1 is 1 itself cos a into 1 is plus cos a now we'll cancel this cos a and this cos a what is left 1 minus cos a and 1 plus cos a is left so 1 plus cos a see we proved is equals to 1 minus cos a 1 plus cos a so lhs is equals to rhs hence proved so we proved here now let's solve the third question so this is our third question cosec cosec to the power 4a minus cosec to the power 2a is equals to cot to the power 4a plus cot to cot to the power 2a so this is the question we have to prove this question lhs is equal to rhs so this is our lhs cosec raised to the power 4a minus cosec raised to the power 2a see cosec raised to the power 4a cosec to the power 2a is this is the thing right so we have to take the common out first what is the common here we'll take cosec cosec raised to the power 2a is the common here cosec raised to the power 2a minus 1 now cosec raised to the power 2a see these this is an identity right so we'll see in the table see cosec square theta minus cot square theta is equals to 1 right so we'll write here cosec square not theta it's an angle so a minus cot square a is equals to 1 right so this is our identity we are using our identity here this is our first equation right this is our identity we have to we have to shift the numbers right so cosec square a we'll write a cosec square a and we will shift this plus 1 here and it this will become minus 1 is equals to this cot square a now we will shift it again this cosec square a cosec square a is equals to cot square a this minus 1 if we shift here it will become plus 1 right now here we will take the first equation in place of cos x square a we will write cot square cot square a plus 1 and in place of cos x square a minus 1 we will take cot square a cot square a now we will do the multiplication here so cot square a into cot square a gives you cot raised to the power 4 a plus 1 into cot square a gives you cot square a so this is our answer right see cot raised to the power 4 a plus cot to the power 2 a is equals to right we have proved cot raised to the power 4 a plus cot raised to the power 2 a so lhs is equals to rhs hence proved so that's all for today if you all found it helpful please subscribe like and share thank you for watching